Well, it's my distinct pleasure to welcome you on behalf of Clifford Chance to this event. My name is Laura King. I'm a partner in the firm, and I'm also the global head of HR and talent for the firm. And it's institutions like Birkbeck and the relationship that we've had with them who've helped us over the years to maintain all of that talent. So thank you very much for coming to everyone here. And now it's my distinct honor to introduce Professor Latchman. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Laura. And of course, as always, we are extremely grateful to you and to Clifford Chance for this um, amazing venue with the views of London and the wonderful food and wine. So I'm sure everybody is extremely grateful to you for that. Um, and this, of course, has become a tremendous event in the Birkbeck calendar, an event where we celebrate the achievements of Birkbeck and above all the achievements of our students and the manner in which very many of you have so generously supported um, our students. And it has been a year um, of great achievements. If I could orient myself geographically from somewhere around here, you can see our new building in Stratford, which was opened um, in last November by the Princess Royal and which is becoming a real um, core part of Birkbeck. And of course, we continue to flourish through innovative degree programs now very many students, and you'll hear from one of them later, um, studying in the evening at the same pace as full-time students, finishing their degrees in three years while studying in the evening. That tells you an enormous amount about the commitment of our students, and as I always say, even more about what full-time or so-called full-time students do with their time. <laughs> And of course, those students benefit greatly from the very valued support that is provided to us by many of you, by our alumni, by our donors. And of course, it's always good to get financial support. Very many students require that support. I've been saying just earlier that sometimes it's not even about large amounts of money. It can be about a couple of hundred pounds for a part-time student can make the difference between being able to pay for childcare when granny goes into hospital for a month or two and not being able to pay. It can make the difference between continuing and not continuing. But it's actually not just about money either. It's also about the need to support students in every possible way. We have now a number of alumni volunteers who work with students who realize that for many part-time students, it's a considerable obstacle to overcome the idea of going back, of going back to study. We have a Get Talking program in which alumni take applicants out to have a coffee and discuss with them. That raises the rate of application by those people who come on to enroll to 85% of those who go on that program thinking about coming to Birkbeck end up applying, end up coming here. So all those things are very important. They apply equally, of course, at undergraduate and postgraduate level. That is why we're very gen grateful to many generous donors, such as Santander, who support both undergraduate and postgraduates, and also recently to ArcelorMittal, of the Mit ArcelorMittal Orbit, who have supported a learning ladder where you can support one student studying for a certificate in higher education, one studying at undergraduate level, one at master's level, and one at PhD level. So all these things are there to help people fulfill their, their potential. And when people ask me, what is my ambition for Birkbeck? My ambition for Birkbeck is that one day, everybody who lives within the working or living distance of Birkbeck will be able to study here regardless of their financial circumstances. We are getting closer to that and one day we will achieve it. Of course, we also have to provide the very best facilities for our students, the very best facilities for our world-class researchers. We will begin work next year on the toddler lab to supplement our world-breaking baby lab, which has identified early features of autism which can be seen very early on and interventions can start. They will be able to take their work forward to, the, to a toddler lab. So it's not just about support in money for scholarships, it's about other ways of supporting, it's also about buildings as well. And I'm going to pass on now to somebody who understands what I've been saying very well, Daniel Peltz, who has supported, who is an alumnus of Birkbeck, and who has supported us not by only by providing scholarships, but also by providing funds for the Peltz Room in the School of Arts, which allows us to showcase various activities at Birkbeck and has already become the center of activity in the School of Arts. So I'm going to pass you over to Daniel Peltz, and after that there will be a couple of other speeches by a student and also by somebody who is an alum and a donor 
um, to Birkbeck as well. So you'll have a series of hopefully not too long, and I'm going to hand over to Daniel, who has prepared at least half an hour, um, <laughs> but I'm sure he's going to cut it short when you all um, start to lose focus, but you won't do for at least 29 minutes. So over to you. <laughs>